This video will show you the enhancement made to Sage BizVision 7.71a in regards to accounts payable transaction voids. In previous versions, prior to 7.71a, the icon in accounts payable was called void check. As of 7.71a, we now have renamed the icon to void transaction. This void transaction icon gives you the ability of voiding almost any transaction in accounts payable. Let's take a closer look at user details. Click on utilities, system manager and user details. We'll go to the access tab, accounts payable and options. We now see at the bottom the option is called void transaction instead of void check. The permission on the right hand side is no Void transaction, yes, using original date, and void transaction, yes, modified date, checks only. Let's select the last option, and let's click on save and close. Let's open up accounts payable, and we'll pick a vendor. For Bell Telephone Company, we have three transactions listed. We have credit memo, debit memo, and a finance charge. If we look at the void transaction icon, we could see here that we have the ability of voiding each of these transactions. Let's create a new item and we'll call it an invoice. So let's uh, backdate the item slightly and we'll put an amount here for the invoice. Let's click on post and let's post to a job cost. Let's use client training as for this example and we can apply this transaction. Okay, we now have the invoice in here and if we run a job cost transaction journal you can see here that the money was applied to the expense of 236 and 28 cents. Let's close this for now and let's go back to accounts payable and let's see what happens when we void out a credit memo. We can take a look at the journal entry first. See it's $16, accounts payable, $1.84 for GST, HST and $14.16 for telephone expense. Let's close and let's click on the void transaction icon. Do you wish to avoid the credit memo? We'll say yes. And if we look in inquiry, we have the original credit memo. And now we have the debit memo signifying the reversal. If we click on the view journal entry icon, we can see it is the exact opposite of the original transaction. Let's close the journal entry window and let's go back under open items. Let's now reverse out these three transactions. Likewise, we can click on the debit memo and click on the void transaction. We can say yes. And let's do the same thing for the finance charge. We'll void this as well. It says, do you want to void this finance charge? We can click on yes. Go back to inquiry and we can see here we have the finance charge reversal of the 89 cents and we have the reversal of the debit memo signifying the credit memo of $22. Go back to open items and you'll notice that this invoice originally had a job cost transaction posting. The void transaction will also void out the job cost transaction as well associated with this item. Let's highlight the item and let's go to void transaction. Let's click on yes and let's go underneath inquiry. We have the invoice here and the credit memo reversal. Let's now go to the reporting suite and let's print a job cost transaction journal again. And we see here that we have the original invoice 
and now we have a void and it voids out the transaction for the job cost as well. Two things to keep in mind when voiding accounts payable transactions is that when you go to open items, the items must be unlinked. So for example, if I have an item here, I'm going to unlink this one. You can now see if we go to open items that the two items will reappear back here. I can now void those transactions separately. Another point to keep in mind is if the PO number field is populated, the item cannot be voided. It must be voided manually. For example, I'll click on the new icon and I'll put a reference number. I can put a PO number and an amount. I'll click on post. I'll just exit. And if we see here that the void transaction icon is not available for this item because the PO number is populated. I could, however, void these two above transactions, but not this one. If I want to void this transaction, I will simply click on new. I put a credit memo for the same amount, let's say $10, and then reverse the journal entry with Autopost off and link those two together. This concludes this video on voiding transactions in accounts payable for Sage BizVision 7.71a.